the conqueror, whose cause was favoured by the Pope, was soon submitted to by the English. Edwin and Morcar, the Earls of Mercia and Northumbria, declared for him... What did they declare? It doesn't say. Edwin and Morcar... What do they look like? There aren't any pictures. Now, pay attention, Alice. I am paying attention. But what is the use of a book without pictures or conversations? <laughs> Edwin and Morcar, the Earls of Mercia and Northumbria, declared for him, finding it advisable to offer him the crown. William's conduct at first was moderate, but the insolence of his Normans... A white rabbit wearing a waistcoat! Oh, I shall be too late! And he's looking at his pocket watch? Oh, my dear paws! She'll be absolutely savage! A talking rabbit with a pocket watch! Oh, my fur and whiskers! She'll have me executed! Late for what, Mr. Rabbit? Sure, it's ferrets or ferrets! She'll have me beheaded! <laughs> then I really will be late! Oh, Mr. Rabbit! Don't go! Enjoy 
For if you drink mushroom or bottom ox poison, it's almost certain to disagree with you sooner or later. changing here. I wonder if I'm even the same person as before. But if I'm not, who am I? Oh, that's a great puzzle. Oh, well, I'm sure I'm not Ada, for her hair goes in such long ringlets. And I'm sure I'm not Mabel, for I know all sorts of things and she knows very little. Oh, but if I'm not Ada and I'm not Mabel, who am I? Oh. Mary Ann! Oh. Who? Mary Ann! What are you doing Mary. out here? Um, now run home and fetch me a pair of gloves. Quick now! Oh, dear! Oh, dear. Oh, oh. oh but, but Mr. Rabbit, I'm not Mary Ann. I'm not. Am I? Wait! Wait! <laughs> Who are you? I... I hardly know, sir. Hmm. Just at present. Uh -huh. At least I know who I was when I got up this morning. Hmm. But I think I've changed since then. What do you mean by that? Explain yourself. Well, I can't explain myself, I'm afraid, sir. Oh. Because I'm not myself, you see? I don't see. Well, I'm afraid I can't put it more clearly. <laughs> I can't understand it myself. Uh -huh. And being more 
more than one size in a day is very confusing. It isn't. Well, perhaps you haven't found it so yet. Mm. But when you turn into a chrysalis yes. and then into a butterfly, uh -huh. you'll feel a little odd, won't you? Not a bit. Well, perhaps you're different. <laughs> it would feel very odd to me. You? Who are you? I think you ought to tell me who you are first. Why? Come back. I've something important to say. What is it? Keep your temper. Is that all? No. So, you think you are changed, do you? I'm afraid I am, sir. Uh -huh. I've changed size <laughs> and... I can't remember things as I used to. Can't remember? Oh. Try reciting something. Recite how doth the little. How doth the little? Yes. How doth the little crocodile? In improve his shining tail and pour the water south the Nile on every golden scale. Mm -mm. How cheerfully he seems to grin, mm -mm. how neatly spreads his claws <laughs> and, and, and welcomes little fishes in with gently smiling jaws. That is not said right. Not quite right, I'm afraid. It is wrong from beginning to end. What size do you want to be? Well, I should like to be a little larger. Mm. Three inches is such a wretched height to be. It is a very good height indeed. I am exactly three inches high. But I'm not used to it. You will be. In time, one side will make you grow taller, and the other side make you grow short. One side of what? The, the other side of what? Of the mushroom. An invitation from the Queen to play croquet. Uh, uh, from the Queen, an invitation for the Duchess to play croquet. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh.
too much pepper in that soup. Go, Rod! Uh, please? Would you tell me, why does your cat grin like that? <gasps> it's a Cheshire cat, and that's why. Oh, I don't care 
care much where. Then it doesn't matter which way you go. So long as I get somewhere. Oh, you're sure to do that if you only walk long enough. Oh, well, I'm looking for a white rabbit. And... Oh, what sort of people live about here? In that direction lives a hatter. And in that direction lives a March Hare. Visit either you like. They are both mad. But I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, you can't help that. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. How do you know I'm mad? You must be or you wouldn't have come here. By the by, what became of the baby? I'd nearly forgotten to ask. It turned into a pig. I thought it would. Boys often do. It disappeared. I suppose I ought to be surprised. But so many odd things have been happening. Did you say pig or pig? I said pig. And I wish you wouldn't keep appearing and vanishing so suddenly. You make me giddy. All right. Was Billigan the slimy toes? Did guy and people in the day? Often he with a bar of the hoes and the morass out grave. <laughs> I've often seen a cat without a grin. But a grin without a cat? That's the most curious thing I've ever seen in all my life. I believe I'll visit the March Hare. I've seen hatters before. And perhaps, since this is May, the March Hare won't be raving mad. What in the world is a momra? Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> Well, that's, I don't see it, my chief. Then what's that? Oh. Oh. oh, that must be very uncomfortable for the dormouse. Oh, only as it's asleep, I suppose it doesn't mind. wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being asked. I didn't know it was your table. It's laid for a great many more than three. Your hair wants a cutting. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's rude to make personal remarks. <sighs> Why is a raven like a writing desk? Oh, come. We shall have some fun now. It's good, isn't it? I'm glad they've begun asking riddles. And I believe I can guess that. Do you mean you can find out the answer to it? Exactly so. Then you should say what you mean. I, I do. At, at least, I, I mean what I say. It, it's the same thing, you know. Oh. No. Well, you might just as well say that I see what I eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. Well, you might just as well say that I like what I get is the same thing as I get what I like. No, 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 you no. Might no. Just as well say I breathe when I sleep. This is the same thing as I sleep no. when I breathe. <laughs> well, it is the same thing with you. <laughs> For I... What day of the month is it? The fourth. But it's two days wrong. Now, I told you that butter would not suit the world. But it was the best butter. Oh, yes, but some crumbs must have got in there as well. You shouldn't have spread it in there with a the bread knife. But it was the best. Best of butter, you know. Uh, now, you see, it's always six o'clock now. Oh, is that the 
reason so many tea things are put out here. Yes, that's it. Oh. So it's tea time, and we don't have any time to wash the things between whiles. Then, then you keep moving around, I suppose. Yes, exactly so. The things get used up. Oh, but what happens when you come to oh, the beginning again? Oh, well, 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 Oh, yes, of course. Just when I was going to remark yeah. myself. Have you guessed that riddle yet? Oh, no. I give up. How is a raven like a writing desk? Uh, uh, I, I, I haven't the slightest idea. Wait, nor I. Would you come Ooh, I want to clean a cup. Let's everybody move one place on. Move on. Clean move cup, on. move on. Oh. Here we go. Oh, look, move. A one, a place. Ah, do take some more tea. Oh, well, yeah. I've had nothing yet, so I can't take more. No, you mean that you can't take less. It's very easy to take more than nothing. Nobody asks your opinion. <gasps> well, who is making personal remarks now? Well, I'm getting bored. I thought the young lady sings us a song. La, 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 oh, la, 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 yes. la, 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 Go on, give us, no, a, give us a song. Just one little mm. song. No, I'm afraid on, I really just can't. One, just one, you can't? No. Oh, well then I shall. <laughs> Delighted. Oh. Twinkle, <clears throat> twinkle little bus. <laughs> you know this song, perhaps? I've heard something like it. Yes, well, she sang it at a concert uh, given by the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> uh, she pulled out off with his head. Oh, how dreadfully savage. <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. Oh, I wonder what to do that. Up above the world you fly. Like a tea. In the sky. Twinkle, 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 little bat. Oh, I wonder what you're There it goes again! Here, 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 try some butter! And you know that batter is not going to work. Twinkle, start with a tea. Oh, of course. Twinkle, start with the tea. You also put them in the tea. Oh, I really don't think. Oh, well, then you shouldn't talk. Now, does Twinkle end with a tea? Well, I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Right. No, it doesn't. I shall never go there again. It's the stupidest tea party I ever was at in all my time. to go or whom to visit next. Oh, to Tweedle Dum's house. Oh, to the house of Tweedle Dee. I, I do believe they live in the same house. Oh, I remember. Tweedle Dum and Tweedle Dee agreed to have a battle for Tweedle Dum, said Tweedle Dee. And spoiled his nice new rattle. Woo! If you think we're waxworks, you ought to pay, you know. Waxworks weren't made to be looked at for nothing. No, how? Contrary wise, if you think we're alive, you ought to speak. Oh, I'm sure I'm very yes, sorry. I know what you're thinking, but it isn't so. No, how? Contrary wise, if it was so, it might be. And if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. ain't. That's logic. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like poetry? Yes. Pretty well. Some poetry. Uh, would you tell me the way out of this wood, please? What shall we recite to her? 
the walrus and the carpenter is the longest. Right. Oh, oh, you don't seem to understand. You see, I... Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry Well, if it's very long, would you please tell me first which road leads out of this wood? I can't find my way and I would like to know the way out. Would you please tell me the way out of this wood? The sun was shining on the sea, shining with all his might. He did his very best to make the billows smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. The walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. They wept like anything to see such quantities of sand. If this were only cleared away, they said, it would be grand. Oh. Oysters, come and walk with us. The walrus did beseech a pleasant walk, a pleasant talk, along the briny beach. We cannot do with more than four to give a hand to it. So, all young oysters hurried up, all eager for the treat. Their coats were brushed, their faces washed, their shoes were clean and neat. And this was odd, because, you know, they hadn't any feet. Four other oysters followed them, and yet another four. And thick and fast they came at last, and more and more and more, all hopping through the frothy waves, scrambling to the shore. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of cures and ships and silhouettes, of capitals and kings. And while the sea is boiling hot, and while the pigs have wings, I whip for you. The walrus said, I declare a surprise. With sobs and tears, he sorted out those of the largest size, holding his pocket handkerchief before his screaming eyes. Oh, oysters. The carpenter, you've had a pleasant run. Shall we be trotting home again? But answer came there none. And this was scarcely odd because they'd eaten every one. for the poor oysters. Contrary wise, he ate more than the carpenter did. That was mean. Then I like the carpenter best. Uh-uh. No, how? He ate as many as he could get. Well, they were both very unpleasant characters. Hmm. <laughs> It's only a rattle. My door was broken. I knew it was. It spoils, of course. You needn't be so upset about an old rattle. But it isn't old. It... It's new, I tell you. I bought it yesterday. <laughs> My name. It's silly. <laughs> Of course, you agree to have a battle. I suppose so. Let's fight till six and then have dinner. Very well. And she can watch. Only you better not stand very close. I generally hear everything I can see. And I hit everything within reach, whether I can see it or not. You must hit the trees pretty often. I don't suppose there'll be any trees left standing by the time we finish. And all about a rattle. <laughs> it's so different. I wouldn't have minded so much if it hadn't been a new one. There's only one sword, but you can have the umbrella. Only we must begin quick. It's getting as dark as it can. And even darker. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Mr. Rabbit, a wicked thing. Don't you be wise. Such a fuss about anything in all my life. I 
I told you we're all mad here. But how do you know you're mad? A dog's not mad. You grant that? I suppose so. Well, then, a dog growls when it's angry and wags its tail when it's pleased. Now I growl when I'm pleased and wag my tail when I'm angry. Therefore, I'm mad. I call it purring, not growling. Call it what you like. Do you play croquet with the queen today? You'll see me there. Twas brillig and the slidy toves did gyre and dimple in the way. Oh, wait, please. Yes? Oh, uh, oh, before you go, would you tell me, please, what does that poem mean? Well, if you want to learn the meaning of a thing, you had better consult an egg expert. Why, it's Humpty Dumpty himself! Egg, exactly. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back into his place again. <coughs> that last line is much too long for the poetry. Well, don't stand there chattering to yourself. Tell me your name and uh, your business. <coughs> well, my name is Alice. It's a stupid enough name. What does it mean? Uh, must the name mean something? <coughs> Of course it must. Now, my name means the good, handsome shape I am. With a name like yours, you might be any shape at all, almost. This wall is so very high and narrow. Don't you think you'd be safer upon the ground? Well, of course I don't think so. But if I ever did fall off, which of course there's no chance of, but if I ever did fall off, the king has promised me. Oh, you may turn pale if you like. Oh. The king has promised me with his very own mouth to, uh, <coughs> oh, <coughs> to, uh, uh, to send all of his horses and all of his men. Oh, well, I declare, that's too bad. You have been listening again. Yes, you have. At doors and behind trees and down chimneys. Or you couldn't possibly have known. Oh, indeed, I haven't. It's in a book. Our history of England, no doubt. Now, <laughs> now I am one that has spoken to a, a king, so you may shake hands with me, if you like. <laughs> no, I'm not too proud. I'm glad of that, for you know that pride goeth before it Yes, all his horses and all his men, they'd come right out in a minute and pick me up, they oh. would. <laughs> Impenetrability! Oh. <coughs> That's what I say. I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, we've had quite enough of this subject, and you should tell me what you want. Unless you intend to stay here the rest of your life. That's a great deal to make one word mean. Oh, when I use a word, it means just what I choose it to mean, neither more nor less. You seem very clever at explaining words, sir. Could you explain a poem to me? Oh, very well. Let's hear it. I can explain all poems that were ever invented and... Uh, a good many that were out. Twas brillig and the sleazy, slithy coat. That's coves. enough. Thank you. And the name of this poem is Jabberwocky. Yes. And if you pay strict attention, you'll soon understand it. Oh. Take care of the sense, I always say, and the sounds will take care of themselves. <coughs> Was brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the way. All mimsy were the borogoves and the mome wraths outgrave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, 
the claws that catch. Beware the jump jump bird and shun the frumious bandus. He took his vorpal sword in hand. Long time the manxome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while in thought. And as in uppish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vocal blade went, snickers back. He left it dead, and with its head he went down the tree back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Oh, come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, frantious day, caloo, calais, he chortled in his joy. Was brilliant, and the slidy toves did gyre and gimble in the wake. All mimsy were the borogoves, and the moan rough out cried. Well, what do you think? Well, it seems to fill my head with ideas. Only I don't know exactly what they are. However, somebody killed something. That's clear at any rate. Oh, some people have no more sense than a baby. Impenetrability! What does that word mean now? Oh, it means goodbye. You may shake hands if you like. <laughs> I'm not too proud. No, I... Uh, uh. Oh. oh, no! I knew this would happen! Poor oh, Humpty Dumpty. I wish I could have helped him. and all the king's men. Um, uh, where is Humpty Dumpty? I'm afraid you're too late, sir. Oh, you mean he's expired? Yes. Oh, how terribly sad. He was a very good egg. Oh, well, my dear, you wouldn't care to be rescued, would you? Well, I do it so very well, you see. Oh, yes, please. I can't seem to find my way out of this forest. Oh, well, then help me on my horse here. I'll go with you to the end of the world. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you steady this leg, oh. dear. Oh. Oh, no, not going to work. Come with me. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh. Uh, you're admiring my little box. Oh, yes. It's my own invention. <laughs> to keep clothes and sandwiches in. You see, I carry it upside down so the rain can't get in. Oh, but the things can get out. Do you know the lid is open? Uh, no. No, I didn't know. Oh. Then all the things must have fallen out. <laughs> it's of no use without them. Eh? Oh. Uh, yes. Can you guess why I did that? No. In hopes some bees might make a nest in it. Uh, then I should get the honey. Uh, but you've already got a beehive fastened to the saddle. Yeah. Very good beehive, uh, but not a single bee has come near it. And here's a mouse trap too. Yeah, uh, empty as well. I suppose the mice keep the bees out. Or, or the bees keep the mice out. I don't know which. <laughs> it isn't very likely there would be mice on a horse's back. <laughs> no, no, not very likely, perhaps. But if they do come around, I don't care to have them running all about the place. <laughs> you see, it's just as well to be provided for everything. 
Oh, that's why my horse wears those anklets there. But what are they for? To guard against the bites of sharks. Oh, my. It's my own invention. <sighs> now let's be off. <laughs> I'm afraid you've not had much practice in riding. Yeah, and now what makes you say that? Oh, because people don't fall off quite so often when they've had much practice. Oh, well, I've had plenty of practice. Plenty of practice. <sighs> now, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Afraid not. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh. It's too ridiculous. You ought to have a wooden horse on wheels. Uh, does that kind go smoothly? Oh. Much more smoothly than a live horse. <laughs> hmm. I'll get one. Uh, two. Uh, several. How can you yeah. go on talking so quietly, head downwards? Uh, what does it matter where my body happens to be? Uh, my mind goes on working just the same. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, in fact, uh, the more head downwards I am, the more new things I invent. You must have invented a great many. <laughs> oh, yes. I have in that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Just then, I uh, invented a way to keep the hair from falling off. I should like to hear it very much. Uh, well, uh, first you take an upright stick, and uh, then you make your hair creep up it, like a fruit tree. <laughs> you see, hair falls off because it hangs downwards. Oh. Things never fall upward, you know. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I'm afraid I must leave you here. Uh, we're at the end of the wood. Already? Well, you've only a few yards to go. <laughs> but you'll stay and see me off, won't you? You'll wait and, and wave your handkerchief. I think it would encourage me, you see. Of course I'll wait. And thank you for coming so far. I do hope that you'll remember me. You've been so kind to me. I believe I'll remember you best of all. I hope so. I hope so. I wouldn't want you to forget me. of the woods yet. I'll never find the white rabbit at this rate. Oh, get into the beautiful garden. Oh, oh Mr. Rabbit, wait. No, wrong way. Turn back. Oh, dear. Oh, my, I'll never be in time. Well, come along, Mary Ann, or you'll be late too. Oh, oh Mr. Rabbit, oh, dear. wait for me. Too. 
It is his business. And I'll tell him. It was for bringing the cook tulip roots instead of onions. <laughs> 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 All the unjust. Hey, yeah, fellows. Hey, hey, excuse me, please. How do you do, miss? Oh, would you tell me, please? Why are you painting those roses red? Why, the fact is, you see, miss, this here ought to have been a red rose tree. And we put a white one in by mistake. Well, if the Queen was to find out, we should all have our heads cut off, you know. <laughs> so you see, miss, we're doing our best. A four The Queen! The Queen! The Queen! The Queen! Oh, uh, perhaps I should lie down, too. There you are, Mary Ann. I hope you've brought my gloves. The oh, King that's... and the Queen of Hearts. Say why you're thinking what you say. It saves time. And open your mouth a little wider when you speak. And always say, Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Can you do addition? What's one? And one. And one 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 and one. And one. I'm afraid I've lost count. What's the French for? Photo day day. Oh, really? You are very dull. No head for numbers or languages. That should save you a little trouble. <laughs> no head, you see. No head? It's a pun. Oh, 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 What have you been doing here? May it please, Your Majesty, we were just... Uh... I see! Off with the haste! Oh, no. Get to your places! Oh, thank you, ma'am. Are my heads off? May it please your majesty, their heads are, uh, gone. Come on, then. Let the game begin! Hurry! Flamingo bite? Uh, uh, uh. Very true. 
mangoes and mustard both bite. And the moral of that is, birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> A fine day, your majesty. <laughs> hey! Now I bid you fair one. Either you or your head. Must be off in half your time. Oh, take your twist. Oh, I'm so mercy. I hate you. <laughs> if it likes. I'd rather not. Don't be impertinent. And don't look at me like that. A cat may look at a king. I've read that in some book. But I can't remember where. Well, it must be removed. My dear, I wish you would have that cat removed. Uh, the, 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 off with his head. Right. Yes. Oh, Jack, come over here. There's a good fellow. Just behead that cat, won't you? Oh, no! No, no! So good of you to oblige. I can't. Why not? You cannot cut off a head unless there's a body to cut it off from. Anything with a head can be beheaded. Well, I have never done such a thing before. Don't talk nonsense. And I am not going to begin at my time of life. Well, if something is done about it in less than no time, I'll have you all executed. <gasps> oh, oh, with that. Oh, oh, with that. I feel faint. Bring me a ham sandwich. There aren't any. Well, then, fetch me the tarts the Queen made this morning. Why don't you just disappear? All right. Oh. That was us! Alice! 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 
my dear. She is only a child. Perhaps we should have a trial first. First the trial. And then the execution. That's justice. Oh, very well. First the trial. And then off with her head. <laughs> off with her head. Of course. 
friends condemn you to death. So ends the tale of the mouse. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. That's the most important piece of evidence we've heard yet. The jury will now retire. There's no meaning in it. Well, if there's no meaning in it, that saves us a world of trouble, you know, as we needn't try to find any. Let the jury consider their verdict. Is it a verdict? No, no! Sentence first, verdict afterwards. What <laughs> nonsense! The idea of having a sentence first. Can't say why I'm thinking what you say. I won't. <gasps> then hold your tongue. I won't, I won't. <gasps> Off with our heads. You hold your tongue. <gasps> Of the pure, unclouded brow. 